for my natural theory of selection, but it helps me in classifying the embryology of rudimentary organs. Scientist Gould, he is professor of physics from Harvard University, Cambridge, England. He said that modern synthesis is effectively dead. And he further said that speciation, the event of speciation, it is very difficult to detect. It is too fast. It happens on too small a group and too far away from ancestral range. Indirectly, scientist Gould is giving a wonderful scientific boundary for the creation of the first man and the first woman. Scientist Gould said that the first man and first woman, they were created instantaneously. He said that it is too fast, it happens on a too small a group and it is too far away from ancestral range. Wonderfully it is matching with the Quranic way of creation of man. In the beginning, Adam peace be upon him and Mother Hawa both were created instantaneously and in the beginning the group was very small and there were only two human beings and they too were far away from ancestral range without mother and father. Allah says in the glorious Quran, chapter number 2, Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 30. By the call of Rabbuka lil malaikati inni jahilun fil ardi khalifa. When your Lord said to the angels, I will create a man from clay. Allah says in the glorious Quran, chapter 38, Surah Saad, verse number 71 and 72. Your Lord said to the angels, I will create a man from clay. When I have created, I am perfected, I put my spirit in that, then you all fall in prostration. Allah says in the glorious Quran, chapter number 7, Surah Ra, verse number 189. We have created you from a single self. Then from that, your spouse, so that the man finds rest in her. Allah says in the glorious Quran, chapter number 7. Four Surah Nisa verse number one. Ya yuhum na sukta ho rabba ko muladi khalaq ko min nafsi wahid wa khalaq min har zauja ha wa basta min amari la ranga fi ranga nisa. O mankind, fear Allah, the Creator of the universe, who created you from a single soul, then from that a spouse. Then from both of them, many men and women. Allah says in the glorious Quran, chapter number 4, chapter number 49, Surah Hujra, verse number 13. Ya yuhatna sinna khalakna kum min zakar mamsa wa jahalna kum shobam wa tabaila li ta'arafu inna akaram kum in dallahi akkaatu. O mankind. We created you from single male and female. And we put you into groups and tribes, communities and tribes to know each other. The most noblest in the sight of Allah is the one who is more God fearing. Thus, Quranic verses are pointing that first man and woman both were created in the heaven. That is paradise. Now let us see Bible. Book of Genesis, chapter number 1, verse number 26, 27, 28. Book of Genesis, chapter number 2, verse number 7, 21, 22, 23. It is mentioned.
mentioning that the first man was created from clay, then from that it spouse and then many men and women. Even in Rajyo, Prajapita Brahma Kumari, page number 18, it is mentioned that Par Brahm created the first man from clay and gave the name Swam Bhu, means who was self-created without any male or female intervention, without any mother and father. He was called Swam Bhu Virat Purush. According to the part number 10, chapter number 90, verse number 5, the first man is called Adi Purush. According to the part number 10, chapter number 90, slot number 50, the first man is called Prajapati. According to Ramchand Manas, Balkan, Doha number 141, Sab Doha 1. The first man was called Swambhu and the wife was called Shatrupa. According to Bhavishpura, Pratisar, number 4, show number 29 to 32. The first woman is called Hargyavati. You can see in Islam, the first man is Adam and the mother is Hawa. Adam's wife is Hawa. Our mother is Hawa. In Bible, it is Adam and Eve. In Vedas, it is Adi Purush, Virat Purush, Prajapati, Shadrupa and Habibati. In short, we all are the creation of only one male and female. Our creator is one. And the final messenger is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So therefore, we should forget our differences. We should think that we are one family member. Beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that the entire world is one family. So it is our duty to spread the peace, justice humanity and the universal brotherhoodness. Allah Allah